Amazing Afghans Muhammad Alum Muhammad Aji Alum, known in the West as Muhammad Alum, was born in Kandahar, Afghanistan in the late 1850s. His family practiced medicine for hundreds of years. He was one of the 800 Afghan cameleers who worked in the Australian outback in the late 19th century. Muhammad, a handsome, well-dressed, and dapper gentleman, settled in Adelaide, Australia, where he became a famous herbalist and philanthropist. He loved to help the poor and needy. He saw an average of 600 people per day, and he didn't take any money for it. Instead, he accepted donations and donated that to charity. Alum criticized Australian medical practices. He campaigned against inhumane use of live animals for pathological testing and injecting animal serums into humans. This got him into a lot of trouble with authorities who accused him of being an imposter doctor and a quack. He was charged in 1935 with imposter as a physician. The Crown Prosecutor accused him of using vindictive methods, but Alum gathered 40 witnesses to state he never represented himself as a doctor, that he practiced natural medicine. Alum was fined. Alum also combated racism in Australia. He once said, if any Britisher can prove that I'm black and they are white, I'll give him 500 pounds. He wrote letters to officials challenging the way he was treated and asking for justice. Alum was a devout Muslim who went to Aj many times. He made and distributed letters, pamphlets, newspapers about Islam, the Quran, and natural healing. In this paper, they call them the man of God. In 1934, he visited Afghanistan, but 19,000 people petitioned for him to stay in Australia because of his popularity, his charitable work, and his healing powers. Alu married several times. In 1940, he married Jean Emsley when he was 83. They had a daughter named Bibi. Many years later, he and Jean decided to go back to Afghanistan, but in 1953, Jean died. Alum returned to Australia where he resumed his practice as an herbalist. He passed away on March 21, 1964, inside his large home. At the age of 106, some people say 108, his funeral procession was one mile long. He left a lot of money in his will to children's charities. Like and follow for more.